Thousands of dead fish littered the banks of Hughes Creek at Sunnyside Park near Sweet Home. Now, the creek lies between two large reservoirs, the Green Peter and Foster Reservoirs. KEZI 9 News reporter Julio Mora Rodriguez shows us a first-hand look at the waste. But before we get to him, we want to warn you, some of these images may be tough to watch. It's a chilling sight here at Hughes Creek as it has been turned into a virtual fish graveyard. Fishermen I spoke with say the muddy water and the fish carcasses lining the bank are very unusual. My boys and I came down here and just saw just dead fish just all over the bank, just everywhere. And, uh, you know, it's sad to see. Just take a look at some of these close-ups from the riverbank. Many of the fishes were motionless, a few still struggling to move. The worst of it is under the Quartzville Road's second bridge. There was a school of dead fish underneath. Fisherman Matt Hennen fears that this is the reason his family hasn't had much luck fishing. Uh, my, my family's been up here camping for, uh, for a week now, and we've hooked into maybe one fish. And we've been fishing almost sun up to sundown. I did reach out to the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife, and they tell me they sent biologists to investigate what caused these fish to die. They're still looking into a cause. For Hennen, this was supposed to be a nice little trip and a chance to spend quality time with his sons. This is not this is not right. You know, we'd rather see the kids catching fish and everybody catching fish, and this is not right. You know, just to see them washed up and dead on the beach and just for no reason. You know, they're bloated. They're they don't look right. They're it's disgusting. Fishermen also told me they're worried about what this means for the habitat here. We'll hear some more of their thoughts in The Five. Reporting at Sunnyside Park, Julio Mora Rodriguez, KEZI 9 News.